Hi guys, welcome to our live stream. Um, I'm so glad you're here. Um, we are talking about social media tonight, so this is going to be a good one. Um, I think this is something that is just not talked about enough, and so I'm really excited to dive into this with you guys. I know I say I'm excited every week, but I'm just really... I am excited to be here with you guys and share this stuff with you. So um, I have an exciting announcement slash reminder at the end. So make sure you stick around for that. Um, but let's dive in. Let me share my screen so you guys can kind of follow along with where I'm going. Um, let's see. Okay. I don't know how to get it into full screen, so we're just going to go with it like this. <laughs> um, if anyone wants to tell me how to get it into full screen, please feel free to drop it in the chat. <laughs> okay, so um, you know my biggest thing in here is self-care. I'm all about self-care and I talk about it all the time. Um, so we're going to talk about social media self-care and this is something maybe you haven't thought about before. Like how do you do self-care for social media? Like that doesn't make sense, but stick with me. It definitely makes sense. And I think a lot of people need this. So, um, so let's dive into this. Um, so some of the, let's talk about some of the impacts of social media. Um, social media has really transformed our world. Like think about 10 years ago, how our world was compared to now. Like we just do a lot of things differently and the way we communicate is different. Um, also throughout this, I'll use social media and technology kind of interchangeably. So don't get that confused. Um, so social media has been shown to increase depression, anxiety, and more. Um, there are good things about social media, like it helps us to communicate, but there's also downsides to it as well. And we're going to talk about tonight some of the ways to kind of prevent those downfalls. Um, so the effects, like I said, can be prevented um, or decreased by putting some boundaries on our social media use. Um, so of course we can still enjoy social media, but we just need boundaries in place. Um, as much as social media can be a blessing, we definitely need some boundaries to have control over it rather than the other way around. Rather than letting social media control us, let's control our social media and do what we need to do to take care of ourselves. So let's talk about these boundaries. I have three boundaries for you guys tonight. Um, these are some good things to put into practice all the time. Um, so first of all, having a bedtime, bedtime for social media or technology. Um, so the light in technology, the light that technology gives off, actually wires our brain to be active and to stay awake. So when we're using technology right before bed, it actually keeps us awake and prevents our brain from shutting down um, to get some restful sleep. And social media actually releases those same good feel, same feel good chemicals um, that's released in exercise and other kind of activities. Um, the chemical is called dopamine, and it's released in these pleasurable activities. So it's actually released when using social media. And that's why social media can be so addictive is because it feels good or provides pleasure, I guess I should say. So our brains basically need a break to wind down at the end of the night to get restful sleep. So giving yourself an hour or two without technology before bed can increase restful sleep and give you a break from social media. This can be just a time to take a step away 
and give yourself a little social media free time. Um, and it's just good for your body and your brain. Um, so that's why this is number one. Um, number two, spend an evening technology free. This can be really hard for a lot of people. Um, a lot of people are, I don't want to say addictive, but a lot of people can't go without technology. And I know this can be scary and hard, but it's so good for you to go a certain amount of time without technology. Um, technology can actually make a huge impact in our relationships. So when we're like so distracted by the social media and technology that we're consumed with, we aren't engaging with the people who are right in front of us and neglecting those people. Um, so I encourage you guys to try spending an evening or even just an hour, if you can't do an evening without your phone, um, to just spend some time with people you love and really like pay attention to how different that time is without the technology and without your phone right in front of you. Um, you can also use the time to take care of yourself. I talk about this all the time, you know, self-care, self-care, um, you know, doing things you enjoy, whether it's exercise, stretching, reading. There's so many things you could do without technology. Um, so just, you know, taking care of yourself or taking care of your relationships. Um, and you might just remember how much you like the people who are right there in front of you. Um, number three is super important. Um, number three is having a social media purge. Um, so let me ask you this question. How many negative accounts and friends are you looking at every day? A lot of people have a lot. Um, there's either negative accounts or, you know, FOMO or whatever. Um, things that are tearing you down are the things that you want to get rid of. Um, so social media can cause a lot of, like I said, FOMO or comparison. And um, it's all, it's it all creates negativity in our life and it kind of tears us down, you know? Um, but here's the thing you have to remember. You only see one side of people's lives. So you don't see the other half that isn't so good. Um, sometimes I get people post negative things happening in their lives, but 90% of the posts you see are things that are going well in people's lives. So you don't see the other side of things um, that other people are going through. So when you're comparing yourself to others, um, you're really only comparing it to their good without seeing the other side. Um, so following positive people and accounts can help in using social media for encouragement and joy rather than tearing you down. Um, personally, I'm super careful about who I add, um, whether it's Instagram, Facebook, whatever. I'm super careful about adding people who are going to add positivity to my feed rather than tearing me down and, you know, making me want to compare or um, just bringing a lot of negativity. Um, so I encourage you guys to go through your friends list. Um, I know this can take a bit of time. It might, you know, be done over several days, um, but go through and remove anyone who doesn't bring you joy or that tears you down. Um, so kind of a review of the three things. These are three to-dos from these boundary setting. So number one, turn off technology an hour before bed. Number two, spend an evening technology free to be with the ones you love. And number three, go through your friends list and remove anyone who does not give you joy or that tears you down. Um, and here are some things you can do instead of getting on social media. Just a, a few ideas. Um, first of all, spend time with the ones you love. I talked about that earlier. 
um, you know, putting down your phone to spend time with the ones you love. Um, and then self-care, always self-care. Um, and number three, spend time in nature. Like, get outside. I know this can be hard when it's cold or really hot, but just try to spend time outside and disconnect. It can be so nice to just unwind. Um, so if you would like more, um, you know, trainings or coaching, um, I want to remind you guys about the membership. Um, this is starting in November. Um, I, our first live, I believe, is November 4th. Um, so this will include bi-weekly live coaching calls on Zoom. Um, so it will be, I'll have content like this, but we'll be live on Zoom. You guys can ask questions um, throughout, and at the end, we'll have a Q&A time. You'll get guides to go along with the coaching calls. You'll get bi-weekly journal prompts on the weeks that we don't have calls to help you just continue to grow in your self-love journey. Um, and then you'll also get a private community of support. Um, and just a reminder that the biweekly lives will be in this membership instead of in here. Um, I will add them in here for a week and then they'll be deleted, um, but they will remain in the membership. So if you want lifetime um, access to the videos, then make sure you join this membership. It's going to be a lot of fun, a lot of support. Um, and it's only $27 a month, um, so why not, you know? Um, I am so, so excited about this membership. I can't wait to support you guys and um, just help you grow in your self-love journey. Um, so if you have any questions, um, let me know. Reach out to me. I'd love to answer any questions you have. Um, or if you have questions about tonight's live, I know it was kind of a lot of information. Um, so reach out if you have any questions, um, and I will talk to you guys soon.